In our last few videos, we were taking an awesome sailing class that inspired us and fueled our dreams like very little else ever has. So subscribe to follow along our dream chasing. But for now, are you? Yeah. <laughs> As we've said a hundred times before, we can't travel all the time, sadly, because, you know, we have jobs and a house and a cat and real life. So every so often we like to get away for the weekend, for our weekend, and we spend a couple of three nights camping up in the hills, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes from home, running, biking, chilling, reading books, making dinner on a camp stove, drinking coffee, listening to the birds. It's really nice some days. Hey there, welcome to Looney Life. I'm Lauda, and this is Matt. We're just a couple of ordinary people trying to get as much as we can out of the life we've been given. You only get one, and it's all about the experiences you have and the people you meet along the way. Come along as we explore the world near and far. We drove out to Buffalo Creek after work on Sunday, and we were lucky enough that there was exactly one campsite left. It's not our favorite one out there, but it was all we had, so we made the best of it and set up our stuff. Then it was chill out by the campfire time. Woo. First thing you do, going straight uphill, right out of the parking lot. It's never the most fun, but gotta do what you gotta do. I'm not really much of a mountain biker, but as you may or may not know, I work at a bike shop. So every now and again, I get the chance to demo a really awesome mountain bike, and I pretend like I know what I'm doing for a few miles. Honestly, I had a great time on this ride. There's your first techie section, right? See it, Hugo. On this day, our buddy Hugo came out to ride with us. He's always a good time to be around. Push it. I think that's more important than that. <laughs> my, hip, my hip is more important. Any place I could go down sideways, I'm gonna say no to. Oh, right we'll get you walking. Yeah. Ooh Let's go up there. Let's go up the little rock ramp. Fun little feature. I always, I'm always happy when I can do that. Uh, these days, mostly I can, so that's good. Let's see if we can go down it. A little different way, the harder way. Dude, check this view out. This is amazing. Mountains in the background, nothing but pine trees, snowy peaks up there. I'm dying. <laughs> Good day, good ride, beer 30. <laughs> ah, 
Cheers. 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 We recently bought a drone, and boy, did we have a good time starting to play with it and learn how it works. Thankfully, we didn't crash it. When we went to pick up our lava box, Josh, the owner, told us it was the best way to make fajitas while out camping. We decided to test his theory. Not gonna lie, he was right. What's for dinner? Steak tacos. Steak tacos. Or fajitas or whatever you want to call them. Shall we test the waters? This is fun. What? I like the cheese on the bottom. Then it melts when you put the hot meat on top of it. A little homemade salsa. Can't beat that. First bite, tell me how it is. Yummy. Oh no, I have to do it first. You have to eat it first, silly. <laughs> no steak, all vegetables, but it's good. No steak, all vegetables? Mm -mm. In that bite. How's it going over there? I don't know what it is about tacos, but I never have any luck. They always like fall totally apart. I can only imagine if I was using like hard shells, it would just be like, bam. <laughs> mm. Mm. There are a few things as satisfying as sitting around a campfire on a cool summer night talking about all the things. Sailing, plans for our future, life together. My morning coffee is probably the most important part of my day and camping is no exception. I get to chill out and just enjoy being, listening to the birds and the bugs, and watching the day wake up. It's one of my favorite things to do. The next day, Matt took off on another ride, one where he didn't have to wait for my slow ass. And I took off on a run, determined to get as many pictures and videos of wildflowers as I possibly could. I'm a total sucker for nature's details like that.
I gotta say, Charlie's cut off one of my most favorite trails out here at Buffalo Creek. You gotta try it. Ooh. I'm tired. Yeah? Yeah. Fuck. Two and a half hours. 21.45 miles. I may have even PR'd Kitty, I'm not sure. Oh, wow. My legs are tired. Then it was lunchtime and chill out time for a few hours before we made dinner. If you've made it this far in the video, and especially if you like what this one is all about, please leave a comment below. Say something smart. <laughs> is that possible for me? <laughs> Define smart, babe. lovely here. What gourmet dinner do we have tonight? Huh. Mac and cheese with kielbasa and uh, onions and green peppers that were frozen and are now thawed. So we'll see how that goes. Yummy. <laughs> they don't look horribly appetizing. Hopefully they'll be better after I cook them. Gorgeous out here. I always wake up so early. It's like 6 a.m. I've been up for a couple minutes, but it's always so calm and so nice, and I can hear the birds. 
and then I start making my coffee in the stove. Kind of ruins it for a minute, but coffee's important. Suddenly getting in the sun and time to take off the jacket. Good old mountain air. Bye. It's always sad packing up to go home, but you know, until the next one. Thanks for watching.